Welcome to Editor's Roundtable. You know, this week I'm putting the spotlight on P joined Warburg Pinkers. That's because they're in the news. Now, what's the news? They, Warburg Pinkers this week have sold stake uh, in, in three large companies, which is CAMS, IDFC First Bank, and Bharti Airtel. And they've raised close to 5,100 crores by selling stake. In CAMS, it was a full exit. They sold 19% and raised close to 2,700 crores. In IDFC First Bank, they've sold one and a, nearly 1.5% stake. Even in Bharti Airtel, they, they sold nearly 1%, and they've raised close to 1,650 crores. So, 5100 crores raised in one week itself. Now, what could be the next in the line? So, I'm just looked at, looked at the India port, the key India portfolio of Warburg Pinkers. They have large large stakes as well in Apollo Tires. Warburg owns close to 10% stake in Car Trade. They own close to 17.5%. Fusion Microfinance, where they are the co-promoters, they own close to 62.5% stake. Uh, Home First is another company where they own close to 26.5%. Kalyan Jewelers, they've sold some stake, but they still own close to 17.5%, and in MetPlus, they own close to 11.5% stake. So these are the listed entities where Baba owns a large stake. I've also looked at some unlisted uh, Indian companies where they own a large stake, which includes the names like Biba, Boat, uh, Ola, as well as SBA General Insurance. So these are the unlisted holdings of Warburg Pinkers. Now, the key reason is why they've looked to sell some stake in the Indian companies. One of the expl explanations could be the change of guard at the top. Vishal Mahadeva, who's been with Warburg, for the last 17 years, he's been promoted now as the Asia Pacific head, and he, and you know he leaves that India position and goes to Asia Pac. Uh, and and his replacement is Narendra uh, uh, Narendra Ostwal. He is now the India head for Warburg Pinkers. He's been with Warburg since 2007. So there has been a change of guard. That could be the one reason. But also remember, it's December end, so they have to look for bonuses as well. So maybe that also explains that Warburg has sold some stake in the Indian listed entities. Uh, uh, very interesting, Ramesh. Thanks very much uh, for that, Ramesh. Uh, from here on, you bullish on financials, that is one. You, uh, or is the call that everything may do well, but stick to large caps, because that's where valuation comfort is. Uh, go on. You know, so I think, you know, with the India story playing out, I think over time, you know, on a medium to longer term, everything will do well. Mm. But if you're taking a three to five year view, I think as of now, the value is clearly there in the large caps. Mm. And within that, on a sector, it's, it's, it's financials where you find the most attractive opportunities. Financials, though, even smaller ones have not done. Uh, there, is, there is opportunity. Financials is a space, both large and mid-caps. You can't say that about any other sector, but financials, perhaps, both large, mid, uh, there, is, there seems to be, it seems to be okay. Yes, it seems to be okay. There is value at, 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 in every market cap mm. bucket, but obviously, larger value lies in the large cap bucket. Okay, well, that's actually bang on time. We've run out of time on the show, but thank you so much for joining us. Have a great weekend, and if we don't meet you again, have a great, uh, you know, happy new year happy to new you. Happy new year to all the viewers. He's going to be back before December. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be back, but maybe I won't be. <laughs> <laughs> right, but, uh, you know, greetings of the season to you, and thank you for joining us on yeah, the show. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank with you. that, it's curtains down on another edition of Editor's Roundtable. Have a great weekend.